Okay, so I've given up on getting Dezuko to run in here. And uh, I'm not even sure if I'm going to try to use the GUI because the RPM system is going to keep telling me it's broken. The package is broken when it's when it's not. I might not be able to install things just to have a GUI. It's not really worth it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to um, mount your Windows partition and then scan all the contents of it just to see if there's anything in there. Okay, so I am going to, and I remember at one time uh, there was some warning that came up in antivirus, said it detected it. No further action took place. I mean, I, I, I might even be compromised in my Windows, so let's try to figure out what's going on here. I've clicked on my computer. I have Conqueror set up as my default browser, and the way I did that, I think a lot of people may be interested in it, but it kind of cripples your uh, system at the same time. You go into your um, personal settings, this, and then, um, I'll better close it, do it again. Personal settings, and then you go to default applications, and uh, the file manager I've picked is Conqueror. And I said apply, and then it did that. But the only thing is, Conqueror's default homepage is kde.org. You got to change that to um, to your home directory, basically. And so now this is actually Conqueror. So I could click on home. It doesn't go directly into home to start with. If you click on my computer, I'm wondering. Yeah, it's got a URL there. So now I could probably what I'm Jones in for here is to have a uh, home directory. <coughs> Keep that desktop extension there, that's fine. <laughs> Guess maybe not. The URL I'm going to have as the tilde sign, which stands for home. And there it is. So if I click on that, I should, yes, it takes me to home. Good. Okay. So what was my point? I don't know. I forgot. Um, I was going to do something, and I guess I'm losing my mind, um, losing my mental abilities. Uh, I was going to show you how to mount the, 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 the Windows directory. Okay. So. Uh, from here, I mean, it still has this ugly gray I can't stand. So it looks, am I in Dolphin? No, I'm not. Okay, so I'm going to go up. Uh, use upper, and I'm in the base of my file system. Go into etc. Then we've got a file systems tab. As far as I know, um, EF, uh, oh, I'm not going to have any interference with. Um, by the, um, the system that the HAL system that's in place that's going to cause me to not be able to mount my other directories. And I might as well complete my other file system tab entries if I could find my little cheat sheet here anywhere. And what I could probably do is just print out the one from Ubuntu and I'll be able to get to that. So I'll go over there. It's my home now. That's the way I like to roll. Okay. Uh, Ubuntu, etc. I'm going to use its file system tab as a model for mine because I like the results there. File print and I'm going to get that so um, give it a second. I lied, it wasn't a second, but um, <laughs> nonetheless, I'm back. <coughs> Printer down the hall. Okay, so this is the file system tab file. It's just a different presentation than the one I showed in my earlier video of what's over there. And I've got to remember to close this one. No, I don't have three hands, but I do have a mouth. And getting back to what I had before. What I was talking about before with these things here in my existing 
file. The two settings on the top, although they're less understandable by regular human beings and a little harder to figure out what you need to put there, uh, those two entries will actually be able to survive if I move the hard disk to another computer and, and this hard disk is actually the secondary. It'll be able to survive a boot. Uh, whereas the other one will be a little more problematic. You have to find a way to access file system tab maybe with Nopix uh, to change the dev SDA to um, you know HDA if it happens to use that kind of parlance in the other computer you move your disk into or, or, or SDB if it's the second one. Now I'm going to add a couple more entries here based on what I have already. And I'm also going to make sure that I have subdirectories for all of these uh, mount points that I create. But what I'm concerned about with right now, at least for this presentation, is that dev SDA2, which is the second partition on the hard disk, is going to be mounted at a Windows sub subdirectory. And I'm basically just copying, being a copycat and copying what I got over on this. I'm cheating. That's what, that's usually the way I do it for file system tab, and that's that's the extent of my knowledge. And that's the extent of my knowledge usually when it comes to menu lists for Grub 1. They don't change things on me. Now for Windows, it is NTFS over in Ubuntu, but I've seen entries for NTFS 3G, so I'm wondering what that means and why I would use NTFS 3G on some and defaults here. But anyway, I'm, let's go with this. So that, and then. These are the options for what happens when it mounts. Defaults. Then they got this entry for NLS equals UTF-8 UMask equals James Bond GID. I, I don't know about. It was 46 and then zero is there. I gotta make sure the last line is empty. I'll find out very quickly after I save this whether this entry is gonna work, if GID matters or what. So um, I'm not too sure what that means. Let's see, does it even show up? Um, it should be under OS. That's got NTFS 3G, so I better use that. Let's try uh, 3G. And I don't really know if I want to use this GID thing. It doesn't seem right. I'm going to save this again. Reload this sucker and see if I get any response out of that or that. Now, earlier I had it, I thought. After I dealt with, uh, with Hal. I guess I might have to end up opening frickin' Dolphin. <laughs> to be able to get to that, let's see what happens. Yeah, it opens it, so I don't know why. There it is, now it's got colors to it. I don't know why, still, I can't get to it from this interface. But it doesn't give me any problems, so I'm able to mount it. That, that file system tab works uh, just fine. So I'm happy with it. Uh, the other ones will be academic. But uh, instead of doing that, let's make sure that I, first of all, uh, let's make sure I can mount my Windows partition because right now my subject is on the antivirus. So I am going to mount uh, Windows. I don't know if it's mounted. Oh, I don't even have one. I don't even have a subdirectory. How could I mount it? That's why I didn't react. So I have to make a directory, uh, Windows, and now I'll try to mount it. And let's see if the file system tab is actually right or not. Hmm. NTFS 3G. Okay. It doesn't doesn't know what that is. Okay. Where was my? There it is. Okay. Let's go back. Keep doing this crap until I get what I want. It spawns the way I want. Okay, let's try it again. Now Windows. Okay. What? NT. Uh, okay. NTFS dash 3G. All right. Particular. Particular son of a bitch, aren't you? 3 
G and there's something about fuse. I don't know what fuse is. Probably something else I need to learn. Okay, uh, let's try this. Now what? Uh, G what's GID? What the fuck is that? I guess I have to have that in there, but I don't know what it is. GID equals 46. I know I'm not using number 46 in, in Ubuntu, so I'm wondering what the hell that is. Let's try it again. Still the same thing. Um, what is it saying? Usually you just do mount windows. Well, mine is A. Still have that problem. Stop.